Okay, so now in this lesson of the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and apply all of our materials to our car. Um, to do that, all I'm going to do, a, do is go over here to my outliner, which I've made a shelf button for, and click it and just drag it over here. And as you can see, I've actually broken the car down into the pieces that I actually want to go ahead and apply the materials to. So I'm just going to select this car paint group, just minimize this. Go over to our fry render shelf here. And choose our material editor. And go into my folder. And just choose this car paint orange. Now I simply just downloaded this from the website. And then installed it into the folder location that you see here. And that's pretty much all you have to do and then just go ahead and click accept and as you can see it's going to turn green that means that the material has been applied successfully to the model so let's go back to our outliner and choose our chrome pieces let's go ahead and minimize this go back to our fry render shelf choose our material editor go into our metal folder and choose the chrome material and then we'll just go down here to the outliner once again choose our glass and I'm just simply going to use uh, let's go transparent and I'm going to use the smoke glass for the window glass here and then for these for the headlight glass here I'm just going to go ahead and select them and move them out of the way here because I'm going to apply different materials to the inside of the light here and the light surfaces Let's go ahead and select this, transparent, and I'm going to use, uh, let's go with the same smoke glass material, okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and select all of this, this, select this, this, that, the outline here, these, that, that, and I'm simply just going to apply a plastic material to them, which I can either use this rubber black or this marble black. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this rubber black, which is probably the best option. And then I'm actually going to make these lights here actual emitters themselves and then I'll just put them on them on their own independent light control system as well select those let's turn those into an emitter here and we'll go with the xenon car headlight and that's a material I've downloaded off the website as well let's go ahead and select that Actually, that, that, that one, these two hood indention pieces, and we're going to turn those plastic and rubber as well. Okay, select our material editor, go into our plastic folder, just choose this rubber black, and select that, that, and we want to put our car paint shader back on those. Okay, since we have all those emitters actually put on, we should go ahead and actually apply them to their own emitter controls here so let's select this go into here choose fader 5 do this and choose fader 6 fader 7 and for the last one will be fader 8 That just means that we're going to be able to control the headlight intensity as well. So whenever we go to render, we can turn those up or turn them down whatever way that we want. And let's go ahead and select the under part of the car here. 
Oops, I can say I actually forgot these. I gotta put chrome on those. Select that as plastic. Oh, no, actually we wanna just select these two. I'm sorry. And go into our material editor here and choose those as chrome. And then just re-choose the back license plate. And since we aren't really gonna see it, I'm not gonna worry too much about the material that's actually gonna go on there. So and that would be our our render position. So let's go ahead and let's move those two back. The headlight controls. Or I'm sorry, the headlight glass. Choose our tire let's yeah, let's go ahead and choose the undercarriage of the car and go into our material editor and let's go with our plastic and let's go rubber black so it actually looks like the under part of the car and go ahead and choose our tires here I'm gonna go ahead and choose all four of them and I'm simply just gonna go ahead and just give them you know the basic rubber black click accept and now what I want to do is I actually made a license plate material separately here so what I want to do is with that selected I'm going to go over to my shelf and just simply open up the hyper shade and go ahead and deselect it and I'm just going to choose a Lambert and hit control A to bring up the attributes for it going to plug a texture here into the Keller tab which I actually have on my desktop here and so I'll just go ahead and select my desktop and it would be here it would be the car LP so go ahead and open select it and apply the material here and it's not going to show up because I didn't hit six but if I hit six it'll all show the materials here and now since we have all of our materials applied here which I think I forgot the inside of the car yeah I did so I need to go ahead and select this and I'm just simply going to apply a Lambert to it so let's go ahead and select our material editor Lambertian and select this one but I'm going to go ahead and change the color here real quick and say uh, that looks probably what it should be I'm just going to go ahead and test render this out and then I'll just save the material in the library going to take a little bit of time here so let's just go ahead and let this render out As you can see, it's, it's almost done here, and this isn't taking too long since it's just a simple Lambert material. Just going to let it finish here. Okay, there it's finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the save in the library, and it's actually going to overwrite this Lambert white material. It actually asks you to overwrite it, so I'll just double click it and click accept just to make sure that it actually does go ahead and overwrite it. So we'll go ahead and move our windows back. And then as you can see, we actually have all of our materials applied to our car. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and then get started getting our render ready to go ahead and render out. And we'll go ahead and render, and then we'll come back.